2024, a year of sudden shifts, a year of great changes, but this creates opportunities. God's mantle is hanging over you this year, and it's time for you to reach up and grasp it. Today, in my weekly word of prophetic encouragement, I'm going to be talking about some of the shifts that God is bringing and how we can practically reach up and grasp those mantles so that we can shift into the new that God has for us. My name is Arlene Westerhoff, and welcome to my weekly word of prophetic encouragement. Now, 2024 is not just any year. The Lord is saying it's probably going to be one of the key years, if not the key year of this decade. And so 2024, we're going to start to see some things play out that we haven't seen before. One of the things that the Lord is speaking about very, very clearly, I believe, is that these are days in which the prophetic voice on one hand is going to sound forth more than ever before in our nations and in our continents. I live on the continent of Europe, and this has been a continent that has been closed largely to the prophetic voice for many years, but God is saying this year, 2024, more than ever before, he is releasing his prophets. They've come out of the caves and now his prophets are starting to prophesy. This year, says the Lord, we will be prophesying with great accuracy and with authority. This is a year, says the Lord, in which my sons and daughters shall prophesy. And God's saying, you'll see quick answers to prayer. Things that took decades, the Lord is saying, I will shift them swiftly as my people rise up and speak the word of the Lord. However, I believe also that the Lord is saying, as far as contrasts go, it's also going to be a year of Amos 8, chapter 11, or sorry, Amos chapter 8, verse 11. The days are coming, declares the sovereign Lord, when I will send a famine through the land, not a famine of food or a thirst of water, but a famine of hearing the words of the Lord. What does that mean? That means that we're going to also see in this year increasing persecution against believers, against Christians, against preaching the word of God. And so there's a sense of urgency in the spiritual dimension as we even talk about that. It's time for those of us who are prophets to actually release the prophetic words in ways that we have never done before. It's time, says the Lord, to use every avenue that you can to release that. And it's time also to preach the gospel. This year, we're gonna see a special marriage between the prophetic and actually that awakening anointing the, between the prophetic and the anointing that brings the harvest of souls in. And that is something that is really going to give us opportunities. This morning, as I was uh, spending time with my online prophetic mentoring and training group, we were waiting on the Lord. Why? Because it was announced this morning, for example, that King Charles of the United Kingdom, it's been cancer discovered in his body. And as we started to press in, in our weekly time of prayer, started to notice that the Lord was taking us up through levels of the spirit in the spiritual dimension. And all of a sudden, I just realized, hey, this is a sign, this is a signal, something is changing on the earth. And one of the things I believe that the Lord is saying is that this year we are going to see a great shift of leaders, the shift, the displacement of leaders across the globe has started. Now, many of us know that this year, fully 4 billion people on the planet are going to go to the polls to vote. But I'm not just talking about politics. The Lord is saying the great 
displacement, the great shift of leaders has begun on the earth in politics, but also in church, in the church mountain. God is saying in business, in every aspect of society, the Lord is saying, I am starting to displace leaders, leaders across all spheres, says God, and they'll be replaced displaced and replaced in a number of instances by unexpected candidates. The Lord is saying those who I have prepared outside of the light of the public glare, those who I have prepared in the shadows, the Lord is saying this is going to be their year. And so God is saying, get ready for shocking election results. God is saying the world systems as we know them are going to start to crumble as he exposes corruption. But the Lord is saying, as you pray, if you pray, God is saying, I'm going to put my people in place. Now, what does that have to do with King Charles? Well, King Charles is the monarch that is at the head of the British Commonwealth. Now, I am not prophesying that he is going to die, but I am saying that <clears throat> this announcement that was made about his physical health, health that signifies a turn in the spirit and that turning in the spiritual dimension says this great displacement season of leaders has begun. And so get ready. We're going to see shocking election results, but for the body of Christ, this is also our time to pray. As we pray, God will move and start to get his people into place. Now, one of the things that I want to talk to you about today also too, is, you know, it's just for about a year and a half, two years now, many of us have been prophesying that God is set to release the riches or transfer the riches of the wicked into hands of those who are righteous. But the Lord is going to do this in a number of ways. First of all, he's going to do it to those who realize and for those who realize that he is their provision and nothing else. The Lord says to us in this year, 2024, it's time to stop running back and forth to those who say, you know, wealth is going to be found here or there. It's time to realize, says God, that your wealth, true wealth is found only in me and in obedience. And so God wants us to know that it's time to stop trusting in human structures or strategies. Righteousness and justice will be our protection as we move through this season. However, God is saying a number of things. Number one, creative entrepreneurship is on the rise. And since I am in Europe, I call that forth from this continent to the continent of Europe and to the continents of the world. The Lord is saying, as currencies digitize, don't fight against it. Much of the body of Christ is looking at the digitization of currency and is saying, oh, this is from the devil. However, the Lord is saying it's time to refocus, retune our ears, because God is saying in the midst of digital currency rise, my people will possess and develop the digital space in a way that is revolutionary. Projects to heal nations, says God, are going to come forth from my people. Projects to actually, we're going to see great innovation, says the Lord, in this age. And so in a number of areas, with regards to technology, the Lord is saying it's not so much about the digital currencies, whether it's Bitcoin or Ethereum or whatever. The Lord is saying instead, look to the platforms that support these digital currencies. That's where he is directing our gaze this 
voice here. Look to the platforms that support his digital currencies this year. Number two, with regards to creating Goshen areas, and also with regards to how God wants to stimulate and encourage those of his people who are called to create Goshen-like areas. He's saying, for those of you who are able, it is time to purchase not just a house, but houses. And God is saying this year, there's going to, even though house prices have gone up, the Lord is saying there's going to be a little bit of a dip in the prices before they shoot up again. This year, for those of you who are able, says God, it's time to purchase whole houses and more houses, not for yourself. The Lord is saying, as you purchase those homes, and I see in different nations, you know, groups of Christians coming together who are called for real estate, you know, purchase houses, but also purchase buildings. The Lord is saying, as you start to purchase those things, as they come on sale, the Lord is saying, and as you start to retool and refit them, to benefit those who have little. God is saying, I will pour out my blessing upon you, says the Lord. God is talking this year about economic transformation. Why is this blessing necessary? It's not just because house prices are going to go up, but the Lord is saying the shocks in the economy are not yet over. Even though as I record this video, you know, the um, financial papers are saying, you know, it's not going to be as bad as we thought it was. The Lord is saying the shocks in the financial system are not yet past. And so the Lord is saying those who will spend their money on the things that delight me, those who will invest, the Lord is saying, and transform, for example, homes, transform buildings to serve those who don't have or to serve those who are needy. The Lord is saying, I will bless you in a special year this year. With regards to economics, once again, the Lord is saying, I have called you, my people, not just to protect your own future, but also to create blessing for the many. And so those are some of the things that the Lord is saying. And what is going to fuel all of this? What is going to power all of this? The Lord is saying, in 2024, it's time to get on our knee knees and roll up our sleeves. Praise God. I see him releasing waves of prayer, wave after wave after wave of prayer in Europe, but throughout the earth, in Europe, but throughout the earth. Europe, the Lord is saying to you, the continent that many said was cold, the continent that many said was frigid towards the Lord, the continent that many said had fallen asleep. God is saying, I've heard the cries of my remnant. And now those ways of prayer are going to come forth. God's saying over Europe, this year, my house will be called a house of prayer for all nations. And I see that going forth in every European nation this year. God is saying as prayer gatherings break out, both large and small, we're going to see the powers of hell dislodged over our nations. And the Lord is saying also, I really, really just see this in the spirit. This year, he's going to start to just saw the legs of the chair out from under the abortion industry. God is saying, I'm a God of life. And so church of Jesus Christ, those of you who love the Lord, it's time to start to pray for the end of the abortion industry. God is saying what is impossible with man is possible with me. And so whether you're in the Netherlands or the United States, keep praying. Or the Lord is saying, wherever you are, whichever nation you are in, God is saying, it's time to target that and it's time to start to pray against that. The rantle of reformation is hanging over Europe at this time. 
And that's what I'm going to conclude with right now. The mantle of reformation is hanging over Europe. It's time to grasp it now. And so the charge from heaven in all that I've been saying to you today, you know, it's just, I'm looking at a macro picture, but what does this mean for you as an individual? It means the following. Heaven is saying today to all of us, it's time to go. It's time to act. It's time to step out. It's time to hit the road. It's time to release finances, God is saying. It's no longer just time to watch and to wait. This is a time in which we are called to move. It's an apostolic time of sending you out, says God. There is an apostolic prophetic move across Europe and across the globe. The Lord is saying, my kingdom age is being ushered in and that is being ushered in now. And as it gets ushered in, the Lord is saying, it's time to move. God is saying, I'm no longer just having you on a sidewalk. The Lord is saying, I have put motorized vehicles beside you now so that you can get in and move faster. It will be a time of acceleration, says the Lord, for those who act and those who obey the Lord is saying, from some of you watching, you're thinking, yeah, but I don't know what to do. What am I supposed to do? One of the first things is pray and ask the Lord. Second thing is if you don't yet know how to hear the voice of God, or if you are longing, you know, to hear him more sharply, it's time to find your tribe and to hook in to a prophetic community. I cannot emphasize this enough even in the midst of the shaking, as you hook in to the prophetic communities that the Lord directs you to, God is saying, I will allow you to walk above the waves. There are new assignments, says the Lord, for my ecclesia. And so as I come to the end of this prophetic word, a weekly word of encouragement, I just say to you, I bless you in the ability to step out. Some of you are feeling stuck right now. As you feel stuck, I just say, I cut you free in Jesus' name. A number of you saying, yes, I want to step out, but, you know, it's just um, sickness is something that is really, really holding me back. I just release healing onto you now in Jesus name. I see one person in particular who is watching and, and they've had a stroke and it's left them with uh, not unable to speak, but difficulty, um, more difficulty than usual in speaking. And you really have to work hard to move on one side, even though you are not paralyzed on that side. I just speak out right now, complete healing over you, whoever you are who is watching this, who's had a stroke and is having some difficulty. The Lord is saying, as you plug into his purpose for your life, God is saying my healing power and my strengthening power will flow over you. And so I just release healing to that person now in the name of Jesus. This is going to be the year in which we see the body of Christ rise up like an army. And so, as I said, you are part of the army of the Lord. And if you don't have a prophetic community, then I'd like you to join mine. Registrations are still open until the 1st of March for the Prophetic Training and Mentoring Group. Thank you for joining me this week on this weekly word of prophetic encouragement, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Music